So you're going to select Schedule 80 2 inch pipe. So there's your measurement, ID 2 inch. The wall thickness is 3 sixteenths of an inch. So you know you got the right pipe. Bring it over here. So when you want to take your measurement, you're going to hit fast approach to get it down close enough to get an accurate measurement. So you want to get this just above the blade. You don't want the blade actually touching the metal, otherwise it's going to rip the teeth off. So you move this over to an inch and a half. Good. Then you push this clamp down and that clamps it into place. Once you're clamped into place, you're going to come over here to this control panel. You switch it to blade on. Make sure your coolant's on auto. If there's coolant, you might as well use it. Hit blade start. And then head feed's going to make it start to go down. And you want to make sure it's on 1.5. That's your feed rate. There she goes, she's starting to cock. You want to make sure this is a nice square cut here because otherwise you're going to have to face this thing on the lathe a bunch of time. So the square, the better. There are many safety issues that go in with working with a lathe. One of the main ones you can see I'm wearing a hoodie. Loose clothing is probably the biggest one. You got these, you got the hood, you got all this stuff that can catch. If you have long hair, or jewelry, things like that, you want to remove all that before you start. Another safety uh, issue is leaving this in the chuck because when you turn it on, it's gonna go into orbit. So you don't ever wanna do that. Handling any of the parts, uh, when they come out, they're gonna be hot, so you wanna make sure you don't burn your fingers. Also, all these chips that are all over the place, that fly all over the place are like razor blades, so you wanna make sure you have safety glasses like I don't have on right now. Because one of those gets in your eye, somebody's gonna to have to remove it, and it's not a pleasant experience. And uh, they're gonna come in, try and pull it out of your eye, you're gonna have eye damage, it's gonna scratch your eye, then every time you blink, it feels like there's sand in it. It's not pleasant. Also, the chips, when they touch your bare skin, they cut you, and it's like a razor blade cut, so you're gonna bleed like crazy, so you wanna avoid that. All right, you take this, put it on your chuck like this. Make, there's a, there's a weld on the inside of the pipe, right there. You gotta make sure that's in between the jaws. So you take that, put it up top, Get, get it flat against the chuck, turn it, get a good tight squeeze on it, she's ready to go. There's three wheels here, the big wheel goes towards the chuck and away from the chuck. The medium sized wheel goes horizontally across the chuck. What you're gonna put your bevel on with is this angle here. It's roughly 35 degrees. So it gives you enough room to get a TIG weld in. So it's moving like this and that's what's gonna give you your angle. The first process you're gonna do is facing it. That's using these two handles. That's forward. That turns the machine on. This gets you spinning. The first thing you're gonna do is face it. So you're gonna put a flat spot on the pipe. You're going to use the medium sized one and you're going to use the big handled one in the, in the first operation. You use the big handle to get you close, closer with the medium size, even closer with the big one. And then you're going to add some oil to it. You want to barely touch it on your first pass. 
move the big one over just a little bit. Go over again. And you want to move like less than, in welders talk, less than a sixteenth of an inch over. Just a little bit. And you want to keep doing this until you get a steady stream of chips off this. That way you know perfectly flat. See? Perfect. Steady stream of chips coming off. So you're good to go. If there's a burr, you can do it the opposite way. Take it in just a little tiny bit, go back, and there goes your burr. Now for your bevel, take the big one and the little one. Those are the two you're going to use now. Forget about the medium sized one. Move it over and then start working your angle. The angle, you can go, you can move the big wheel both ways. So move it, cut it a little bit. Move it over, cut it a little bit. See, it's just taking a little bit off. Welders take too much off. Just keep going right until you have no face. This should be your final cut. Okay, now you're out. Wait till it stops spinning before you move. Now take your big wheel all the way out. Tilt the machine. This thing's gonna be hot. And you don't want any loose clothing, so make sure your gloves are out of, out of the way when you're running this thing. Loosen it. And there's your bevel. And then you can flip it over, do the other side, then you can just keep adding on as you go. You should be good at TIG weld.